now leave contact here body wall undergoes extensive foldings which divide radial canals into a small rounded or oval flagellated chambers here you can see these are flagellated chambers these are rounded you can see oval chambers these are its characteristic feature that is characteristic feature of leucon type is presence of oval flagellated chambers here a spongocil has almost disappeared no spongocil you can see here then what happens here this this one is the ostia enters wa sorry water enters through this ostia into incurrent canals this one and from this incurrent canals it comes into this radial canals or excurrent canal these are oval chambers or this excurrent canals leads into osculum now leucon type has different degrees of complexities of canals on the basis of complexities in canals this leucon type has been classified into three types or three subtypes uripilus aphodal and diplodal now we will see one by one all of these three first uripilus here you can see that this one is the flagellated chamber oval chamber and this one is radial canal here this flagellated chambers communicates directly to this radial canal or excurrent canal through apopiles then water comes into this oval flagellated chamber through incurrent canals it opens into excurrent canals and this leads to osculum it is found in plecaina here one thing which is called prosopyl actually prosopyl is the opening of this incurrent canal into this oval rounded flagellated chamber now aphodal here you can see in this diagram this one is flagellated chamber and this one is radial canal or excurrent canal and this one is a small canal like a structure right actually it is apopiles here apopiles transform into a narrow canal called aphodus or this aphodus opens into excurrent canal which leads outside through osculum it is found in geodia diplodal type here you can see di as we know di means two here you can see here is the one narrow canal and another is and this one is the narrow canal 
डाय मीन्स टू मीन्स देर आर टू नैरो कैनल्स वन इज कॉल्ड ए फोडस इट इज बिटवीन रेडियल कैनल दिस वन रेडियल कैनल एंड फ्लैजिलेटेड चैम्बर एंड सेकेंड वन इज प्रोसोडस बिटवीन दिस इन करेंट कैनल एंड रेडियल कैनल बिटवीन इन करेंट कैनल एंड फ्लैजिलेटेड सॉरी फ्लैजिलेटेड चैम्बर इट इज फाउंड इन स्पॉन्जिला एंड उस्कैरेला नाउ रैगन टाइप इट इज डिराइव फ्रॉम लार्वल स्टेज कॉल रैगॉन इट इज फाउंड इन स्पॉन्जिला ए डेमो स्पॉन्जी एस्पॉन्ज You can see its body is conical, right? Or something tent-like. It tapers towards osculum. This one is osculum, right? This esponjocil is lined by flagellated chambers. Here, these are flagellated chambers, but they are discontinuous. Here, there is no flagella. Here it is quinocytes, flagellated cells. So its feature is a spongy seal lined by oval flagellated chambers. This one is oval flagellated chambers. Here you can see, here no flagella, no flagella, and it is not oval. But here it is oval. it is flagellated and mesenchyme considerably thick and traverses by inherent canals and subdermal cavity here water enters into subdermal space through ostia this one is ostia into subdermal space then inherent canal or prosodus flagellated chambers this one connected to a spongy cell through excurrent canal or epiphodus here through excurrent canal it is primitive as compared to diploidal type now we will summarize our lecture This one is ascon type. Here you can see, this is ostia, this is spongy cell, and this one is osculum. Here this is flagellated spongy cell. That is spongy cell is lined by flagellated quinocyte. Quinocyte. Water. This arrow. Shows movement of water. This is sycon type. Here you can see extensive folding of body wall. It forms in current canal here, radial canal this one, prosopyl this one, and apopyl here this one. so and you can see flagellated cells or quinocytes here this radial canal in case of ascon type it is a spongy cell which is lined by flagellated quinocyte here it is radial canal which is lined by flagellated cells in leucon type you can see this one is oval rounded flagellated chamber here forms oval chamber which is flagellated and this one is what radial canal or excurrent canal again in uripilus here it would be r 
here you leave pilus you can see there is no ephodus or prosodus ephodus or prosodus both are absent here in a fodal type here you can see this is flagellated chamber and this one is radial canal this is the apopile here apopile transform into a narrow chamber called a fodus but flagellated cells is confined up to here this rounded or oval chamber in diplodal you can see this one is narrow canal this one another narrow canal that is there are two narrow canals so di means two this one is called prosodus in current canal opens into this flagellated chambers through prosodus and this flagellated chambers opens into this radial canal through ephodus here you can see this is ephodus here in ragon type its body is like tent osculum is somewhat tapered and quenocytes is confined only to this oval chamber here here this one is not lined by flagellated cells this one is oval chamber it is lined by flagellated cells and this one is a spongo cell thanks if you like my video then please subscribe it thank you